Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum. Welcome to today's episode of Talking Point. I'm your host, Saeed Niaz Ahmed. In our studios today, we have a very distinguished couple. After five years of transmission of Talking Point on one to one format, today we have broken the mold. We have <laughs> two guests at the same time. And who else could be a better, provide us a better start? The, he is MP of Rangpur 5, Mr. H. N. Ashakur Rahman, and his very distinguished wife, Rehana Ashakur Rahman. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. How are you? Fine, thank you. And how are you, Mrs. Ashakur Rahman? Fine, good. What brings you to London? I know that London is usually the, <laughs> the, the destination for many people in summer. Uh, yeah, that's partly true, but partly one of our relations getting married, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and this is a good occasion of meeting all our people. Some right. is coming from Canada, right. some people coming from the United States, some right. people all the over from Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. thought it's a good hub, you know, so yes. that's why I am right. here, here. Right. Great. And uh, Mrs. Ashik Rahman, uh, I know you are very busy. You are a director of Red Crescent in Bangladesh? Uh, I'm a member of the governing board of uh, Bangladesh Red Crescent Society. Right. And uh, apart from other things that you Elected are. member. Of Elected the, member. Yes. yes. For the last three terms. <laughs> well, last which uh, probably may, uh, some MPs can't say that. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm taking things very lightly. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I am the member of the parliament for the fourth term. Yeah, I know, I know. You are fourth term, you see. I was just reading about your... Uh, uh, it came up, you see, your, your address. I mean, I thought Mitapuku was the village. You know, Mitapuku is not the village. You have a very distinguished name for your village. That is called Faridpur. I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, that brings you closer, too. <laughs> <laughs> Mitabuku is a upozela, right, which is yes. very big. One of the, I think, it's second largest upozela of Bangladesh. Really, very big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, you go forty miles, forty miles, forty miles. Yeah. You know? it's quite. I, I, I remember. I, I have had the honor and privilege to yeah. accompany you on some of the trips mm -hmm. while I was there. You, <laughs> you are invited again. Inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs> uh, the first time I met you, I think you you had uh, just graduated. You had done your masters and. Uh, in English literature, and uh, you were doing something. I don't know. You were taking a, uh, civil service examinations or something, and you, you, uh, and I met you at uh, in Dhanmandi somewhere, and and I asked you something, and you just, uh, I asked you what do you want to be or something, and you said to be or not to be, and I said this, this is a gentleman, <laughs> he is a man of English literature, <laughs> and. I knew that since then he knows how to avoid the questions. <laughs> no, no, he didn't answer the question, <laughs> but he gave me a food of thought. <laughs> not really like that, but whatever I pursued, I pursued not that I was very serious about it. Right. But at that time, every young man was trying to be a civil a member of civil service of Pakistan. True. True. Uh, but of course, it was a very elite service. Elite service, the elite service, uh, coveted, uh, mm -hmm. difficult also, uh, competitive. But once it became, once I was selected and one of the members of the service of Pakistan, so I never had that kind of craving for this service. So I think I put in only 15 years of service. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. I left the service on mm -hmm. my own will. And without pension, without other <laughs> because I thought I should try something else. Yes, see, see. So I became a f sort of a free man, you know, but with a uncertain future, but with a lot of confidence in myself. Well, you are an enterprising person see, to take on challenges. Yeah. And uh, Mrs. Ashok Rahman, uh, I know that uh, apart, apart from your social work, you are also interested in music and r literature. And I remember that uh, you, you edited a book on uh, uh, a very distinguished uh, Indian actress. Uh, yes, yes, but, but uh, my publishing house, yeah. it's uh, about 20 years that I'm in, in this line. Right. And actually, I bring out books for the children. Right. And my publishing house, the name of the publishing house is also Kishore Bhuvan in Bangla, mm -hmm. which means... Something, something on the line of Harry Potter? Uh, <laughs> not really, not really. Uh, we bring out books for, for children, you know, 
uh, even the world classics. Right. I mean, the um, they are translated. They are translated like Hans in, Christian in, Andersen, yes. Oscar Wilde. In, in simple the, language. The, the uh, classics, you know, we, we uh, translated right. into simple Bengali. Right. So that, you know, the Bengali medium children, they right. can also learn about the right. classics. That's and good. these yeah. are so really well. interesting stories. And most of them have, uh, you know, uh, something for them to learn, right. actually. Yeah. Right. So, uh, and uh, from this publishing house, yes, I brought out a book on the legendary, uh, I mean, the uh, film actress, yes. uh, Shuchitra well, Shin. Yes, Shuchitra Shin, yes. yes, yes. Right. After I, she I died. Remember, I remember Uttam Kumar, but I forgot the name Shuchitra Shin. Yeah, when she yeah. died in 2014, I think so, yes, 2014, yeah. January, uh, I thought that... Uh, this actress, she, for the last 35 years before her death, right. she kept herself aloof from the filmdom, of course, and from the camera, and from, and from the public, public life. Yeah, pub, from the public life. So I thought I should, should write something on yeah, her. Yeah. And actually, uh, she even refused the uh, national awards. And yes, that was yes, quite something, yes, you know. Yes. Uh, because uh, she will have to come out and accept it in public. Mm -hmm. see, so yeah, that but that needs, uh, uh, I mean, extraordinary willpower. Everybody can, cannot do that. True, true, so true. in that respect, she was also very extraordinary. Uh, a, lo a lot of so. very distinguished uh, celebrities, uh, heroes and heroines, uh, uh, towards the fag end of their careers, mm -hmm. see, uh, as the joke goes from uh, hero to zero. See. Mm -hmm. So, so they don't want to face the no, realities of life. But in her case, <laughs> she was never forgotten because she was the ideal, yes. idol of everybody. Yes. In, you know, in the at least Bangla film dawn. Yes. So and in uh, the fifties and sixties, she was so popular, and actually, um, I think what romanticism is, you know. Uttam Kumar and Shujitra Shen that, that, taught that the romantic, Bengali crowd that romantic what romanticism, romanticism is, yes. you know. And actually, I think in the world uh, history of movies, yeah. the filmdom, they are really personalities out. and they are really, you know, uh, that's what, I, what, what I'm did, saying. She did try her hand uh, at Hindi films. In one of the films, I saw on the... No, yeah, I think uh, in a few films, yes. yeah, she tried, but she was successful in the Bengali movies. She didn't uh, act in too many movies, yes. actually. Very During selective. her lifetime, I think about 30 or 30, 35 movies she acted. Yep. Yep. But most of them were hit. Right. Uh -huh. Right. Uh, coming back to Mr. Ashok Rahman, uh, I know that you have tried your hand, as you just said, uh, uh, at too many things you said, but uh, that makes you a versatile person, a man who can take on challenges. Mm -hmm. You were a teacher at uh, a college, you were a teacher at Russia University, and then uh, after that probably in, the, in those uh, days you also took the test of, for uh, the examination for the civil service. Mm -hmm. And uh, you were not happy with one civil service, you went on from one to the other, isn't it? Or is it one to the other yeah, to the yeah, other? Yeah, that's true because uh, the problem was that even though I wanted to appear, people said you could not make it in one attempt. So if we cannot make it in one attempt, why do you try and try yep. and, and uh, take all the pains? So, <laughs> but I think that was a mistake. <laughs> so that's why I missed one or two It was not very really serious. But then I got class one jobs. Yep. But when I want something, that has to be done. So that's why I appeared again and I made it. But once I made it, as I said, yep. I had done with it, you know. Yes, so I stayed 15 years. The later. charm of achieving it was gone. You had <laughs> achieved it. I mean, uh, yeah, it was never the be all and end all of my life, you know. So everybody wants it. I, I tried it. So I got into it. Mm -hmm. Then after a few years, so I thought that I should, I may leave it, you know. So I just left it. Mm -hmm. But there were no compelling reasons for you to leave. Uh, in a way, yes, there was because it was Jaur Rahman was the president then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
you see we have been always been fighting even during my student days we came out of the hostel and we are in procession protesting the rule of Ayub Khan the dictatorial regime and all that so we thought after Bangladesh came into being there would not be martial law army <laughs> rule etc etc but that happened and uh, Zia Rahman was the ruler so I was not really at harmony with myself mm -hmm. uh, I thought uh, you know so I was not very comfortable, so I one day resigned. Right. And, uh, but that resignation took about one year because I wrote a few lines which are not uh, private reasons. I said I'm not very happy because mm -hmm. of the conditions. So they thought whether it's really resignation later. So the resignation later went to the law ministry for the scrutiny. Right. And after about nine, ten months, they said it is indeed a res resignation letter. It can be accepted. Okay, so sir, we have to take a break, and then when we come back, we will go back to the same uh, interesting okay. story. Mm -hmm. Thank you, for being with us, and uh, we'll be back after this short break. Thank you. <laughs>